Kelsey, we are about one block up from Chilton Street where this all happened. And you, as you mentioned before, the commissioner just spoke to us moments ago. He said that additional police units were being sent to this area because of an uptick that they were seeing in armed robberies and carjackings. And around 3 p.m. this afternoon, units pulled over using their license recognition software. They pulled over this one car, a Honda Accord, when they noticed that the driver of it was there was a warrant out for the driver's arrest due to a robbery. And this is what the commissioner has to say happened when those units tried to pull the driver over. While the officers got out of their vehicles and were, they were approaching this suspect and this vehicle on foot, that suspect got out of his vehicle, uh, but at some point got back into the vehicle in the driver's seat. And as the officers were running toward the vehicle, what we saw on body cam video just a few minutes ago is that there were two officers, one on each side at the driver door and passenger door, and one of our officers was approaching the front of the vehicle. The driver accelerated and advanced the vehicle toward the officer who was in front of the vehicle, striking the officer as the officer was firing into the vehicle. And we understand that a second officer also fired into that vehicle. And the commissioner says at that point, the suspect got out of the car that you're seeing right there and surrendered to the police. That is when police recognized that the suspect was suffering from gunshot wounds. They say they rendered aid. He was taken to the hospital and he was pronounced dead. He was shot and killed from his injuries here earlier today at around 3 p.m. Now, the commissioner also says that that police officer that you heard him say was struck by the vehicle, he is doing okay. We understand that the officers, no, uh, in terms of the police officers involved in this incident, no one was seriously injured for the police officer's sake. But in terms of the suspect, they are pronounced dead. Now, we are going to be learning much more about what happened here. But for now, reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.